Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Alexis, aka China Doll, back with me. Well, with my first video. So today what we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be letting y'all know a little bit about myself and we're gonna get it started. I still flex on you. I flex better than you. I cash checks on you. Watch me flex on you. So welcome to another day in the life of being China Doll. And that's basically what this channel is going to be about. You guys are going to learn about me, learn everything that I do every day, just spend days with me, do things. So yeah, it's going to get turned up. So I got nine questions on here for me to answer for y'all. So if you see me looking down, it's because I got my little notepad with some little notes on it. So I keep my mind on track so that I don't fall off a track. So for the people that don't know me, my name is Alexis. Okay, but my channel is being China Doll. And I'm going to tell you guys where China Doll came from. Before we start, this channel, we're grown. So if you're not grown, please click off of this video because we're doing grown stuff on here. So before we start, we're going to get us some wine. Of course, we'll look at some wine. Okay. that's it that's it and for the people that do not like girlies that smoke please click off of this video right now please because you're gonna be so mad just don't even subscribe to my channel but for the people that do please do like comment and subscribe because this is that channel this is where we build the tea okay every time i come on here we are going to have a blunt so have your blunt ready. Like I said, blunt ready. So let's like this one and get into these questions. So for y'all, <laughs> don't come for me. Yes, I have matches. And yes, I'm using my matches. Um, but me and lighters don't get along. So y'all in the back. Fatality. I don't even think I have to tell you, but you already see. I got baby lungs, so if you don't like people that cough, or if you got on headphones, please turn your headphones down because, baby, I cough almost every time I hit this door. So, our first question How old am I? So, I am 22. We're going to be 23 in July. My birthday is July 5th. So, you guys know I'm a little love bug. Um, yeah, that's pretty much me. I'm going to be 23 this year. And I'm getting my stuff together. Question number two. Where am I from? So I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But I was raised in California. And I moved around a lot in California. So I couldn't really say like a certain place that I was from. But I knew California more than I knew Milwaukee. So now me living, being in Milwaukee for six years now, almost seven. I'm just now getting the hang of everything, like remembering where everything is, how to get places and all of that. And I'm starting to lose my memory of California. So there I will be going back because that's basically, that's all I remember. All I knew was California. But when we left California, I'm going to tell you guys a little story real quick. We left California when I was 16, while well, I was turning 16. When we got here, not even, we weren't even here for a month. I found out that my best friend passed away. My when my best friend passed away, it like it messed me up a little bit, but it also got me into the point where I knew like it's time for me to get my stuff together. And I was only sixteen at the time, so I got my stuff together real, real early. Question number three: What are my hobbies? So a lot of people got different definition for hobbies, but me, it's like things that I love to do and things like that. One of my hobbies is cooking. A lot of people are like, oh, everybody knows how to cook. Yeah, you might know how to cook. Everybody might know how to cook everything, like certain things. But me, I don't have the same diet as everybody else. So it's like it comes in handy for me to know how to cook. Because if you don't know how to cook with my health lifestyle, it's like there's nothing for you to eat. There's never a time I could just open my phone, go on DoorDash and be like, ooh, I want to eat this. Because there's really nothing on there for me to eat. And 
Um, another one of my hobbies is I love, when I say love, you guys, I love to decorate. Like, I could decorate something and it could go from looking like trash to looking like, girl, you got it out of the boutique. Okay. Turn a trash can into a six bedroom house. Let's just say. Nice. Now, going into like how I said before, I love cooking. That goes to question four. Question four is my eating style. So with my eating style, basically, I need to know how to cook. I am what people will call vegan, but I don't say that I'm vegan. I say that I'm plant-based or I eat right. I eat healthy. I haven't had meat in, I don't remember. I didn't even eat burgers when I was eating meat, but real cheese and things like that, I haven't had that in so long. So when it comes to cooking and things like that it's like i have to be able to know how to cook or i'm not gonna be eating it so i don't really trust these so-called vegan foods that they have out here me personally i'd rather cook it myself on to question five because everybody is nosy and people on youtube already know eventually people gonna start asking me so i might as well tell y'all now question five is what is my relationship status i am completely taken okay like there's no question about it. There's no, oh, I might know. I'm taken and I will stay taken. I will be taken until taken is taken. <laughs> y'all see, y'all will get to know the crazy side of me because I am, I think I'm a comedian. I really think I'm a little comedian, but I really don't be knowing what I'll be talking about y'all. I stumble over my words a lot. Like you guys get to know me a little bit better. Yeah, I stumble over my words a lot. It has something to do with weed. But you never know. <laughs> question six. What will my channel be about? So this question is really, I don't even know how to answer it. Because I'm not 100% sure what I want my channel to be about yet. But I know I want a little bit of vlogging in there. I want a little bit of cooking in there. A little bit of everything. I want you guys to know me. Because this year, a lot of things are going to be happening in my life. A lot of success is going to be happening. And I'm claiming it now because I know it's going to happen. Like, I have so much stuff planned, so much stuff coming up. So it's like, yeah, my life is trying to throw me off right now. But I'm not going to let it. Like, this channel is really a way for me to get out of my real world right now. And just come to you guys and be able to... Talk to somebody else other than myself because, yes, I talk to myself a lot. And for the people that think it's weird, I don't know what to say. Bruh. I say if the average person doesn't talk to herself, that's a serial killer. That was legit. I have to talk to myself. If I didn't talk to myself, I think a lot of people would not. <laughs> I don't even know how to say this. But it's like, if I didn't talk to myself, a lot of the situations I've been in, I probably wouldn't have got out of the way that I did. So, just talking to yourself is really definitely something that you have to do. Because you're going to give yourself the best advice. Um, one thing I always said is no one has lived your life but you. What I mean by that is you're the only one that understands what happened in your life. You're the only one that's seen and felt everything that was going on. So, when it comes to people not overstanding you, I don't judge them because I know that they didn't walk not even a second in my shoes. So I can't really judge them. I don't judge them. Question number seven. It says, what are my long-term goals? So right now, I'm currently studying to take my real estate exam so I can get my real estate license. Um, I've been wanting to be a real estate agent for a little while. At first, I wanted to go to school for accounting, but then I was looking at everything and I'm like, you know what? Yes, I want the money to look good and I want to be financially stable, but I also don't want to have to be in the office all the time or not be able to be around my kids when I start to have kids. So it's like I shifted and when I seen real estate and what they do and everything, I'm like, you know what? This goes with everything I love. Like, I get to travel if I want to. I don't have to work 24-7. I'm not always in the office. Um, 
I can see the potential of homes. Ever since I was younger, I've always wanted to get my own home and have a family, be able to decorate my house how I want to. And it's like, I have the man and we're building toward all of this. So why not? And real estate is like what I'm looking forward to. But right now what I'm doing, digital marketing. When I tell you digital marketing is a thing, like right now, Getting into your digital marketing would be the perfect thing for you, especially if you don't want to go out, if you don't want to do everything that everybody else is doing, you don't want that nine to five job, digital marketing, you can do it at home. You can literally make a thousand dollars a day and be sitting back collecting your money. So just think about it. I'm going to have the link in the description. The course is $397, but I'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of the question. Question number eight, one of my favorite things to do. So as y'all can clearly tell, okay, if you're a smoking girly, you already know what I'm about to say. My favorite thing to do is to smoke. I love to smoke. I love to just chill at home and watch movies with my man when he's not doing his photography stuff. Um, I love spending time with my man. And y'all will eventually learn that I'm a my man, my man, my man type of female. So y'all might not like that, but yeah. Um, I'm a my man, my man, my man type of girl. Y'all yeah, I'm gonna be right back because my man's talking about some getting some food. Like I said, my man, my man. My man's talking about some get, getting some food. So I'm gonna order the food. And I'll be right back. A few right, moments later. I think we left off with my favorite thing to do before my man texts and asks me about some food. But yeah, I love to decorate. Like I said, I love to smoke. Love spending time with my man. Y'all gonna get tired of hearing my man. Because I'm gonna say my man more than Lotto say my man. And my, so, man. my man. Thank you to my, my man. man. Okay. That being said, question nine, the last question. The question that probably y'all been waiting for that I said I was gonna give y'all in the beginning of the video. But where the name China Doll came from. So my daddy wasn't around. My biological father was not around. He, like, I met him. I knew him. I was around him a little bit. But he wound up going to jail. He was on some bullshit. Bruh. But beside all that, my stepdad, he loved the fuck out of me. I loved the fuck out of my stepdad, okay? Like, that man, yeah, he was in and out of jail. Still in and out of jail. He a grown-ass man. <laughs> but I still loved the fuck out of him. He loved me. He treated me more like a daughter. And my own pops did. Ain't that some fucked up shit. I ain't even, he ain't even had me. Just not even my daddy. And he loved the fuck out of me. Like, crazy. He called me China Doll. Because he always just say my eyes were slanted. That's really where China Doll came from, from him. And I just kept it. People called me China Doll. My family them called me China Doll sometimes. But he mainly was the one that called me China Doll. He was the, really the only one that I liked to call me China Doll. So. <laughs> That's where that came from, and I just stuck with it. My Instagram got China Doll. My TikTok had China Doll at first, but then I changed it because I wanted to say my name. But as you can see, my YouTube has China Doll. China Doll, China Doll. I got emails to say China Doll. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just use it so much. I love that name, and it really just fit me because I'm a little doll. Like, I, I like pampering myself, but I am a, I love being natural. So y'all going to see me in this like my natural state more than you will see me in anything like y'all not really gonna see me in a wig you're not gonna see me wearing weave like that like i really only do so like that on occasion but other than that i don't do it i don't even wear makeup <laughs> i just go out like me like sometimes i just wear my fro i don't even care if my fro picked out i just wear it just letting y'all know that. Be yourself. That's my biggest thing. I will stress that so much on this channel. Be yourself. If you're not nobody, be yourself. If you're fucked up and you feel like you can't be yourself because you want to be like somebody else because you're a fucked up person, Bruh. fix yourself. Then love yourself. But that was really the gist of our video. If y'all lasted this long on my first video, I really love y'all. So if you lasted this long, what I want y'all to put in that comment section, put China Doll down there because that's that's the name. So spam China Doll in that comment section. And y'all let me know about y'all. Thank you for welcoming me to YouTube. And I love y'all. I still flex on you. I flex better than you. I cash checks on you. Watch me flex on you.